Okay guys, we're getting ready to make some lima beans. Just wanted to show you my ingredients. And again, they are the usual suspects. I'm just gonna be using some uh, garlic powder, some onion powder, just a little bit of red pepper flakes. I'm gonna be using Goya adobo um, all-purpose seasoning. I do have the salt here, but I don't think I'll be using any salt because remember this uh, adobo has salt in it. And um, I might not need, well, maybe I might just use a little bit more salt. I'll use my judgment on that when I um, began to put everything in the pot. So I see, you see also I have here some water. I have two quarts of water here. Uh, I probably won't be using the entire two quarts. I have here just some um, pork. This is, it is frozen. And so what I like about these things, I can keep them in the freezer. When I get ready to cook, I can just, don't have to throw them up. You can put them in the crock pot just like this on this kind of thing. So I have also one tablespoon of chopped up bell peppers. And these are the mixture of peppers, a red, orange, yellow, and a green bell pepper. They are frozen also. I just got them out of the uh, bag, and so they're, they're fine to put in. We can roll with it just like this. You see here that I have my bag of baby lima beans, and I'm gonna be having lima beans today because my grandson asked for them. He, I didn't know that he really likes lima beans, but he read a story about a lima bean monster. And so um, it was, he read it to me actually, and uh, it was so funny. And he said, he's been asking me every day since then, uh, when, Jima, when are you gonna cook some lima beans? Jima, please cook me some lima beans. So here we go. We're gonna have lima beans for dinner today. And you know how I like to roll? I like to use the crock pot so that I'm not encumbered in the kitchen. I don't wanna be stuck to a stove, especially if I don't have to. So we're gonna get these lima beans in the pot. And this is just a um, 12 ounce package. And so you cook more. If your family is larger, you're cooking for more people, then of course you have to cook more. But this is gonna do us just fine. Okay, so uh, we got the lima beans down in the pot. We're gonna go on and put in our meat. And actually, this is a little bit too much meat, more meat than I need for this amount of lima beans. Let's see where I need to move this so that you can see inside the pot. Uh, let's see. Give me just a moment. Okay, here we go. So this is a little bit more meat that I need, but because it is frozen, that I'm gonna have to go ahead and use it. I can't, I'm able to, um, no, I can't break it or cut it. Um, so I'm gonna use it just like it is. So let me go ahead and place that in here. And then we're going to put our um, peppers in. Just dump those in. Okay, now we're gonna get our uh, seasonings. So I'm gonna just put the garlic powder in. And I'm saying garlic powder, but I usually, I always use um, granulated garlic. I very seldom, the only time I would buy garlic powder is I just don't, don't see the granulate, I can't find it. And that's not gonna ever be a problem. Um, this is the onion powder and just a few flakes of the crushed red pepper. Because like I say, we don't like our stuff that hot. Here, um, I'm just gonna use some Goya seasoning. And remember I said it has salt. And I would say that of each of these things, except for the, the crushed red pepper, that I've used maybe a half a teaspoon of the other seasonings. And the crushed red pepper, only just a couple of shakes. And I'm gonna go ahead here and make an executive decision because I actually, when I, I thought I was using something else that had salt in it, but it's only the Goya with the salt. So I'm gonna go ahead and put me some table salt in here too. Cause the Goya has salt, but it won't be enough to do the trick for this. So here, let's just say I put in a half teaspoon of table salt. Now I have my water here and I'm gonna go ahead and add my water in. That's enough. So you see I had, um, I had two quarts of water, and I just have it here just in case so I don't have to go back to the sink. But uh, I only used about, it looks like I only used about a cup and a half of water for this amount of lima beans. So you can see I just brought it to a place where it uh, just covers 
the peas. And so that's it. Now I'm gonna get the lid. Where is that lid at? Okay, here's the lid. Gonna cover this up. Got it on high. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got it on high. And so I'm gonna let her rip. Now it's about uh, 10 minutes to three now. Actually five minutes to three now. And I'm expecting this to be done by six o'clock when Big Daddy gets here and he'll be able to eat. So I, one thing that will help the process, you know, a crock pot, a lar large part of the time is just coming up to the heat when you're using a crock pot but, um, or a slow cooker. This is not a crock pot, it's a slow cooker. But um, what will help is instead of using cold water, if you will use hot water when into your crock pot, then that will help to, for it to get hot quicker. All right, we'll come back. We'll check on this later on. In fact, when we come back, they'll be done. We'll be ready. Look, look what we have. Here they are. Ah, oh, beautiful. You see that meat that I cooked in there? That pork? I gotta get a taste. I'm going in, guys. Mm -hmm. It's so hot. They're so good. Yes. That's a big yes. Okay. Let me play it up. So here guys you see that I have just gone ahead and put this on a plate with some rice and gravy and some chicken and gravy and a roll and uh, it looks like comfort food to me. Looks really good. Thanks guys for coming to my channel to see what I'm cooking today. Come back again. Bye.